Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. So before we get any further into the video, I do want to say thank you to Daily Charm for sponsoring today's video and also a big thank you for sending over these wonderful products for me to try out and review for you guys. So they did go ahead and send over some nail art brushes, some gel polishes, and some soft gel nail tips. So let's go ahead and start with the nail art brushes. I was super excited for these. I have been recently really loving nail art brushes just because I feel I'm always using them and I want to be able to find that perfect brush that I always am going to want to pick up that brush and just use that brush. So I think it is really nice to be able to try new ones. The first thing was this little like travel case or just a case in general, which I really like. I don't have anything like that and I am currently storing all of the Daily Charm brushes in that and it makes it super easy to just pull them all out. So on the back you can actually see the brush name and like number and then it also gives you a brief little information on how to use that brush which I find really nice. Also on the back it does show the materials of each brush showing like 0 to 1 Kalinsky and all of that information on the back there. This set does include 10 different brushes and they are absolutely amazing quality. For the brush, it does say Daily Charm and then it also says the number brush and then also the name of the brush. I really like the white pearl with the gold. Also, some of them do come with caps. I went ahead and opened them all up and I just wanted to give a close-up view of all of the brushes. Like I said, there are 10 different types of brushes and I just love the packaging, the way the back shows what the brush is, the name, the number, and what it is used for. I think that is very helpful for beginners or just if you don't have many nail art brushes, you can look at the back and just see right away what the use of the brush is for. So I am going to be showing a close-up of each of the brushes in just the order from 1 to 10. And like I was saying, these brushes are amazing quality. I did use three of the brushes today. I believe I used the French. I'm not sure if that's what it was called, but I know I used the one for French tips. I also used the line brush, and then I also used, I think it was this one right here for some cleanup. And honestly, I love these brushes so much. I really like storing them in the case and being able to easily pull out all my brushes. Also, I did keep one of these slips just so I know like this number is this and it can be used for this which I think is super helpful just because each brush has what it's supposed to be used for like the thin liner it's for very delicate and fine nail art and I just really love that about these brushes. The next thing they did send over to me are some of their gel extension tips which are their like gel nail tips pretty much like soft gel and I chose the coffin extra long clear we do get 275 nail tips in 11 sizes and when I opened this box I was like so in love with it for some reason just the way it showed the sizes you get 0 to 11 it also shows like how wide the nail tip is on the nail bed area also the length of the nail tip and then it also shows the step by step on how to exactly use the nail tips and I just thought that was super cool because if you have never used soak off nail tips before it is super nice when you have the nail tip box right there and it shows you this step by step on how to use them so I think it was a very nice case of nail tips and I really loved that the size zero was too big for my thumbnail, which is usual, so I feel these have a pretty good size range. And then the size 11 or 10 fit my um, pinky perfectly, which is also pretty usual. So I feel the, the, that these nail tips are a pretty good variety of sizes, and I feel like they would fit most nail beds. 
So now we have the peel off base and also the diamond shine top coat. So for the peel it off base coat, it is basically a base coat, but instead of a base coat that keeps your nails on for a long period of time, that it is a peel off base coat where you can apply it to your natural nails and then it will allow you to pop the nails off within a certain period of time, which makes it very good for content creators or beginners wanting to practice their nails and not keep a set on for long so yeah i really love that it also had a really nice brush on it which i really liked as well the diamond shine gel top coat is a gel top coat a glossy gel top coat and it is also a no wipe top coat i really like this top coat it was not too thick not too thin it was very self-leveling and i just really loved the glossy effect it gave to the nails now for the six colors of gel polish that I was able to choose from the website. And let me just tell you, when I was picking out these six colors, it was a very hard time for me because I just, there were so many beautiful colors. So I am not going to swatch these on camera just because I am going to be using all of them except for one. But here we have 901. This one is a very beautiful, like a lilac purple. And I just love how creamy it is. A beautiful color overall. The next color is 706, 705. Um, and this one is a very nice aqua color. One of my favorite colors. I really love this one so much. I also do want to mention that I do have a discount code with Daily Charm, which is nailed by Brandy, and you can use that code to save 10% off your Daily Charm purchases. I will also be linking all of these items in the description box of the video along with that discount code. So if you guys do want to purchase something, you can definitely use that code and save some coins because girl, who doesn't love saving some coins? And also who doesn't love purchasing more nail supplies? Like, I mean, I don't know if your answer is no to either of those questions. I think that there may be a slight problem because I know I cannot put my credit card down when it comes to purchasing nail supplies and also we always need that discount. But besides the point, I'm just going to go ahead and show the rest of the colors. I have this last color here, not the last color, the second to the last color. And I'm just going to be using these products today to create a super cute French tip nail set. This was the only color that I did not end up using. At first, in my mind, I wanted to use it, but then with that nude um, glitter polish, it just already had glitter in it, and I didn't want to take away from that glitter and use this glitter. Alrighty, so now let's go ahead and jump right into the nail set. I first went ahead and started off by applying the peel it off base gel. I did do this off camera just because I am so used to applying my peel off base coat off camera. So I do apologize for that, but I did go ahead and apply two coats of that. And then I went ahead and cured each coat separately for 30 seconds in my nail lamp. I also went ahead and sized out the full cover coffin nail tips and I did any shaping to those around the cuticle just to make them better fit my nail beds. Now I'm just using a 4-in-1 base gel and taking this and applying it to the inside of the full cover nail tip practically where my natural nail would go. I'm kind of just eyeballing where I want the product and then I will place that near the cuticle area and slowly lowering it down on my natural nail until that gel product has reached the free edge of my natural nail. I will keep it in place and do a quick flash cure for that under the nail lamp and then I will just move on to the rest of the nails. This is going by pretty quickly, so if this is your first time seeing this method on how to apply full cover nail tips, definitely check out my YouTube channel because I do have more in-depth tutorials and a lot of videos on tips and tricks on how to get nails like this to last at least three to six weeks. 
After I did have all of the nails applied and that flash cure was complete, I did do a full cure of 30 seconds in my nail lamp, and now I'm doing just some quick shaping and filing to the nails. I start off with a hand file and crisp up the free edge. I then go in with my cuticle ball bit and my e-file, and I'm just going to be taking this to clean up any product that may have spilled and also sealing in the cuticle. I really love using the cuticle ball bit to do this just because I feel like it makes things a lot easier. The cuticle ball bit is also very nice to go on the skin. It doesn't burn or like cut you. It is just very nice and you can easily seal in the cuticle area and I just feel this is a super important step. I also did want to mention that my drill was on a very low speed of around 4000 RPM. After I was finished with that, I'm now just taking my buffing block and I'm going to be removing any shine from the nail tip and then I will just be taking my dust brush to remove all of the dust from the nail and repeating that to the other four nails. After I have buffed and filed all of the nails and the dust has been brushed away, I'm now going in with my regular base coat and I'm going to be applying a thin layer of this to all of the nails and then curing for 30 seconds in my nail lamp. Applying base coat will really help your gel polish adhere to the full cover nail tip. Just like when you buff your nail surface and then you apply the base coat, the buff surface helps the base coat last on the nails and then the base coat will help the gel polish last on your nails. I hope that makes sense. I do like to try to give some helpful tips and explain why I'm doing something. That way you guys can understand how important it is and why you want to do it when you're doing your own nails at home. Alrighty, so after that base coat has been cured, I'm now going to go in with the layer of this nude glitter polish, which I believe is H84. I do apologize if that is not correct, but again, it will be linked in the description box of the video. I am going to be using this color as the base color on all of the nails just because I loved this nude shade so, so much. The camera does not do justice for how beautiful this nude shade is. I love it so, so much. I did get some shots with the flash when I was all finished with the two coats of this glitter nude shade just because it is truly so beautiful and I definitely feel if you do not have this gel polish, you need it because I feel like this one is a very nice nude base color for any skin tone and also it just looks so good because there's that little hint of fine glitter in it that just makes your nail set pop and have a little bit of glitter in it. And this color was just so beautiful to me. So I am going to be using this one for the base of all the nails and the base of my French tips. And I just love, I love it so much. So definitely this is a must if you do not have this shade already but I am going to be applying one coat of this to all of the nails and then I went ahead and cured in my nail lamp for a full 30 second cure. Then once I was finished with that cure, I did go in with a second coat of the color and then I cured that coat for 30 seconds as well. Thank you. 
So here are how the nails look with flash and low lighting with the two coats of that nude glitter gel polish. Just look at how beautiful. I love the way it looks. It is so stunning and I would definitely wear this on my nails just like this just because I think it is so beautiful and it has that little touch of glitter that just makes it absolutely perfect. So now I am going to be doing some French tips using the four colors, the orange, purple, yellow, and teal. I'm also going to be using the French nail art brush and also the thin liner brush. These are the perfect pair to have absolutely perfect French tips. This was my first time using a French um, nail art brush, so it was an experience, but after using it for nails as I went along. It definitely worked a lot nicer and I was actually able to get the hang of it a lot better. So starting off with the index finger, I am going to be doing that a purple French tip nail. So I went ahead and took that French brush and just dipped the one side of it into the purple gel polish. And then I went one strip down on the left side of the nail. I dipped the other side of the brush in that purple gel polish and then I did one strip down on the right side of the nail and I was just amazed with how this brush worked. It really is kind of like that one TikTok hack that I tried in my previous videos but it just is a lot easier and honestly I really liked it. You can see I'm struggling a little bit with this nail but once I move along and realize that using the line liner brush also really helps it just I don't know like I felt like the French tips turned out pretty good and they were super quick to do just because most of it was already filled in and I was able to get that nice crisp smile line in just a few seconds. So I feel if you are struggling with French tips, I do recommend trying out one of these French nail art brushes because it truly may be a lifesaver. And if you do get one of the French brushes and you try it for the first time and realize that it's not working as well for you, just kind of like trust the process, grab a cleanup brush, do some cleanup, and also just keep practicing with it because for the index finger compared to the rest, I just felt like I was able to know how to use the French brush a lot better. Even this finger here, I go in with the yellow using the liner brush first for kind of my guide and then I go in with that French nail art brush and I just feel like having the guide there honestly really helped out a lot. I also did want to mention that I went ahead and did my purple French tip. I cured that for 30 seconds and then I did just repeat the same exact thing, applying a second coat of purple off camera and then I cured that for 30 seconds and I will just repeat that to all of the nails. I will show my first coat on camera but then I do a second coat off camera. I just wanted to mention that that way if you guys are wondering like how the nail the color got so much more bolder that is the reasoning to that. So I am just going to go ahead and let the rest of this play out. Unless I do feel like I need to hop back on and say something, I will. But really, there's not much explaining just because like I explained in the index finger, that's exactly what I'm doing to the rest of the nails. I just kind of improve a little bit more as I go. But I do want to say, if you are still watching the video, I do want to say thank you, thank you so much. It really means a lot when you guys make it through the entire video or most of the video you're just continuing to watch because you are enjoying. And if you are still here and not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. Also, give this video a like if you are enjoying and leave a comment if you're feeling generous.
after I had all of the French tips complete, I did decide on my ring finger. I wanted to do kind of like a swirl pattern using all four of the gel polish colors. And honestly, I just felt like this kind of tied in all of the colors together and made the set very cohesive and complete. So I did really end up liking that I did this. And I'm just going in with each of the colors, doing a quick little 10 second flash cure in between each color and then applying the second color and then doing a full cure for 30 seconds in the end. Now for the ring finger as well, I'm taking a white gel polish and a dotting tool and also the line brush and I'm just going to be creating some four point stars and also around those four point stars I will just be adding some dots to kind of give the effect of a smaller star but just like really further in the distance, not as much in your face as the four point stars and I feel like this nail design right here, it is a very simple but yet still a harder nail design to do but I feel like it is a great space taker when you have a nail set and you want to add a little bit more nail art but you're unsure of what to do. I feel like these four point stars and the dots just really kind of tie everything together so that was my reasoning for just adding a little bit of these to the middle finger the ring finger, I apologize. After I did like the nail art, I did go ahead and cure for 30 seconds in the nail lamp. After I was finished with my nail art, I did go ahead and apply a matte top coat and then I cured that for 30 seconds. And now I am going to be using some of the super cute white butterfly foils. I'm starting off by applying my foil glue. I'm starting with just the index finger at first and then I will do the rest of the nails. But I went ahead, applied my foil glue to the entire nail on my ring. Why do I keep getting my fingers messed up today? I applied the foil glue to the entire index finger. I then cured that for a full 60 second cure. I cut out my butterfly that I wanted and then I went ahead and placed that where I wanted on the nail. I'm then using my finger and a silicone tool to rub that into the nail. Then once I feel like the image has transferred, I will slowly lift it up to see if it has transferred and then once I see that it is being transferred I will just pick up that plastic piece from the nail and you have a super cute little image that took no work at all barely and that is why I'm starting to love nail foils. So after I decided that I liked it on the index finger I did just want to go ahead and repeat that to all of the nails and for the French tips, I applied larger butterflies. And then also I felt like I wanted to add at least one butterfly to the ring finger as well. So I am going to be applying a butterfly on there too. But I applied the foil glue to the nails. I then did a full cure for 60 seconds in the nail lamp. And then I went ahead and cut out the butterflies that I wanted and repeated that same process of placing the butterfly on the nail. I used my finger and silicone tool to rub it in and then I peeled away the plastic once the image was transferred. <music> Thank you. 
after I put a butterfly on all of the nails and liked it, I'm now going to go ahead and apply the Diamond Shine Gel Top Coat to all of the nails. And I just want to say I really liked this top coat. It was a very nice glossy top coat, leaving a nice glossy finish. Also, it was a nice self-leveling top coat. Also, very easy to apply. It wasn't too thick. It wasn't too thin. I just felt like it was super easy to apply and really left that glossy finish in the end. After the top coat has been cured, I went ahead and applied my cuticle oil to nourish my cuticles and like I always say, top off the nail set and I just went ahead and rubbed that in and then I will be showing the finished look. So here are the nails. I really love this set. I think it is a super fun set for summer with the white butterflies and the white butterflies and the colorful French tips and also the nude glitter gel polish, which was one of my favorite things about this set. Like I said earlier, the camera really doesn't do justice for that shade, but just wait until you see it outside in the sun here. Look at how stunning. I love it so much. I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video, but as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.